Isang mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Muli po ang aking pasasalamat sa pagkakataon na makapaglingkod sa Panginoon sa pangmamagitan ng pag-share ng kanyang salita. <clears throat> We at St. Paul UMC are inviting and encourages you to join our regular activities and worship services as we would like to know you more and be with you as we all continue to grow in Christ. We have our daily prayer covenant, just as with what we have now, our Sunday worship and Vesper services available online and face-to-face. -face. We also have our midweek service that you could now attend online and physically. Also, our Sunday school for different age group, wherein you could always join according to your age. All you have to do is approach our ministerial staff, the leaders of, of the church, or our secretary for links and access for you to join. May I invite you to join me in prayer as we put ourselves in the presence of God. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for today, for giving us another day that we could continue our journey here on earth. Guide us, O Lord, that we will be able to hear what you would want to impart on us. Talk to us and touch our heart, that we will be sensitive on what are your plans in our lives. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, isang mapagpalang umaga po sa lahat. Our verse for today can be found at Galatians 3, 26-29. At ito po ang sinasabi. For in Christ you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ, we have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring. Heirs according to promise. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Based on our verse for today, As stated or as shown in verse 20, 26, we are all called sons and daughters of Christ because of our faith and because we are baptized. There will be no division as we are all free. We are all one in Christ. Being one in Christ, it reminds us that we should treat one another as how we would treat ourselves. So kahit wala po sa Bible, meron pa rin po tayong saying that Do unto others what you would want others to do to you. Or wag mong gagawin sa kapwa mo yung ayaw mong gawin sa iyo. So I think this follows this. <clears throat> no distinction of race, sex, gender. As we are all equal. Being children of God. Again, being one in Christ also means that we will care and love one another. Which is one of the great commandments of God. As everyone knows, I was born and raised as a Christian. I attended Sunday school, nagturo sa Sunday school. I even joined choir mula pa nung pagkabata until I age. If you would ask me, I would definitely say I had a very active Christian life or church life. But even though I heard so many verses and stories about how God loves us and has commanded that we should love one another, there, was, there were points in my life that I felt more privileged. I felt I am more superior or greater than some person that I have met. I also do sin. But even when I sin, I would feel that compared to one other person, my sin was lighter than the others. And I think it's normal sa kahit kanino po sa atin. It was a way of excuse na lahat ay nakakasala at ang ating kasalanan is mas mababaw compared sa others. However, if you would think, lahat po ng kasalanan ay kasalanan. However, for so many instances and times, God changed my views my feelings and my heart gradually. There are some experiences in life, challenges that I have met that gave me humbling experiences that humbled me. 
and maybe thinking right now, if those challenges and trials came to me at the time that my faith in God is not well founded, I would be swayed away or would question God on why I need to go through those challenges and trials. However, reading Galatians 3.28, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave or free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ. It brings me the thought that each of one has our own humbling experience and encounter with God. Magkakaiba lang po tayo ng experience. Magkakaiba lang tayo ng challenges. But these are challenges that God allowed, uh, allowed to happen because hindi na tayo gustong parusahan but to teach us some lesson and help us strengthen our faith and realize that we all need God. God teaches us that He sees and treats each one of us equally. And what we have to do is just to go back to His loving arms and obey His commandments. This series of verses also shows that we are all family because God is our Father. Abraham is our descendant. Being in, in one family, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. And like normal family, I believe no one would tell na, or would claim na perfect ng pamilya nila. Being part of a human family or a normal family, each of us is susceptible to commit mistakes, be hurt, or hurt another person. But having a family in Christ assures us that we have our brothers and sisters that will not get tired to comfort us and guide us towards Christ. I would like each one of us to examine ourselves and ask, How do we treat others when they hurt or offended us? Pag nasaktan po baka tayo or na-offend ng kapwa natin, what do we think? How do we feel? na naramdaman po ba natin gusto natin gumante, mag-retaliate or ipamukha sa kanila na mali sila or nakakasakit sila or we pray for them How do we see others when they commit mistakes or failed? Nasa puso po ba natin na sige, buti nga sa'yo kasi ganyan ka, kasi ganito ka or we offer them a helping hand so that they could bounce back or they could see how to correct their mistakes. Are we ready to forgive and love someone that has caused us some pain? So siguro po ito yung isa sa pinakamalaking question. Once you forgive, you should also forget. Kasi being human, sabi natin ayaw nating maging tanga. So kaya nating magpatawad as ito yung turo ng Panginoon. But, may kasabihan din ng mga tao, pag naloko ka ng isang beses, okay lang, naloko ka lang. Pag pangalawa, pangatlo na, katangahan na. But, uh, beyond that, we are really susceptible na maloko if we would always have a trusting and forgiving heart. Kasi we would see beyond the mistakes. We would see beyond the sins that has been done or the wrongdoings that has been done to us. Patuloy tayong tatanggap, patuloy tayong magpapatawad, at patuloy tayong magmamahal. Kaya po ba natin magpatawad at kumalimot at magsimula uli sa umpisa? Let us pray. Dear Father in Heaven, thank you for making us realize that we are all one in Christ, that we are all part of your family, and descendants of Abraham. Guide us, dear Lord, that we will be able to treat others fairly and without prejudice. Give us eyes that can see beyond mistakes and imperfection, hands that offer help and judgment, and that judgment, ear that is willing to listen when someone is in need or in trouble, not ears that is wanting to listen to gossips or rumors. Touch our hearts that we will be able to love others as we love ourselves. And may we be a mirror of how loving our God is. Make our faith work that we can encourage others to serve and be connected to you. 
dear God, protect and guide our loved ones. Bless our pastors, leaders, and may they be guided of the Holy Spirit as they perform their duties that you have assigned to them. Give us an obedient and respecting heart that we may be able to see and understand that nothing happens without your permission. Heal those who are sick. Comfort those who are undergoing trials and challenges in their life. Guide us and always remind us to fully trust your plan on us and make your Holy Spirit work and be seen in things that we do and we say. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mga kapatid, pinagpala ka, pinagpala tayong lahat, bumangon tayo, binigyan tayo ng bagong buhay, bagong pag-asa, at bagong hamon mula sa mga salita na ating narinig. Halika kapatid, dinaanyayahan kita, samahan mo nga ako sa diwa ng panalangin, at ibibigay natin sa Diyos ang papuri at parangal, at humiling tayo ng patuloy na biyaya mula sa Kanya. Tayo ay sumandaling manalangin. O banal naming Diyos na makapangyarihan, Ikinagagalak po namin na muli naming idulog sa inyo ang aming kalagayan at ang aming pagpapasalamat sa iyong kabutihan at biyaya na aming tinanggap. Nagpapasalamat kami dahil ibinangon mo kami na taglay namin ang lakas at taglay namin ang panibagong pangako na hindi mo kami pababayaan bagkos bibigyan mo kami ng lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan. Kaya nga sa panimula ng aming uh, gawain sa araw na ito, ay muli naming hilingin sa inyo ang iyong patuloy na pag-iingat. Kung meron kami, mga pamilya o kami man ay may karamdaman, inihiling po namin ang kagalingan mula sa inyo. Kung meron bang mga nawasak na mga relasyon, makibahagi ka sa amin o Diyos at i-restore mo ang nasirang relasyon ng bawat isa sa amin at ang mga pamilya na kinaaniban namin. Alisin mo na o Diyos ang mga hindi pagkakaunawan ng bawat isa sa amin. Bigyan mo kami ng pag-ibig, bigyan mo kami ng pagmamahal, at bigyan mo kami ng mapagpatawad na puso para kung meron mang kaming nasaktan sa mga salita na lumabas sa aming mga bibig dahil sa nangyaring eleksyon ng aming bansa maunawaan at maintindihan nawa namin o Diyos na magabahagi lamang ito ng prinsipyo kaya nga hinihiling po namin samahan nyo kami at bigyan nyo kami ng pusong mapagmaal at pusong mapagunawa sa lahat ng kalagayan na nangyari sa mga nakalipas na panahon magpapanimula na po kami at hinihiling po namin ang iyong bendisyon ang iyong patuloy na pag-ibig at biyaya ay maranasan namin at haplusin mo ang aming mga Bahagi ng katawan na merong karamdaman para sa kagalingan at bigyan mo kami o Diyos na mapagpagumbabang puso para sa maghapong ito na aming gawain, maipahayag ang inyong mga salita sa pamagitan ng mga gawa at ehemplo na makikita sa aming pagkatao. Sa inyo po ang papuri at pasasalamat sa tanging pangalan ng aming Panginoon Diyos. Amen.